everyone, it's Liam Cannison here, and we are going to be reacting to Red vs. Blue with episodes 12, 13, and 14 of season 14, with the first one being Fight, the good fight. Um, so yes, last time out we had a kind of a backstory between Locus and Felix, as well as um, Cyrus, of course, being involved in this little um, uh, warfare going on against um, L uh, Lazando's uh, father Ruben. So yeah, it was a pretty interesting uh, trilogy that we had last time out. Like I said, it's probably the best one of the um, of the anthology so far in Red vs. Blue Season 14, which I can get down with. But um, no, it was just really, really interesting to see um, Locus and Felix actually, well, Felix as well, fighting actually for the greater good in this uh, case. I mean, yes, they did do some reckless things, but... Um, as far as Cyrus was concerned, um, he, they were basically fighting the good fight against criminals. So, yeah, it was a really, really interesting um, trilogy, definitely. Uh, but first, we are going to be on episode number 12 of season 14, which is Fight the Good Fight. So I'm really intrigued to see what we've got here now. So without further ado, let's go. You know, Project nope. Alos Freelancer really nailed it when it came to building two armies worth of idiots. Some yes. people say it's because we had such convincing propaganda. But <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's just that many stupid people in the universe. <laughs> I'm just loving Vic's narration. Like, it, uh, Juicy goes to separate stop. Oh, God. Oh, wait, what? You joined the military to help fight up oh, the alien scourge. We're having one of you these videos. Joining the military would keep your fellow man safe. But what you weren't told is that your fellow man could very well be our real enemy. <laughs> Just with the little They're heads. They're already here. Ooh. Every day, hiding in plain sight. Blue. Conspirators conspire <laughs> against the us. Blue. Our way of life. <laughs> our very is this, a, is this a red video? But not all of is course. Lost. Military intelligence has been gathering information on the enemy, and after months of analyzing oh, and planning, have come up with a way to combat the true enemy, the blue enemy. <laughs> I just to love that. This blue enemy, the military has formed a strike force, codenamed Red Team. <laughs> this team is comprised of only the most elite soldiers, those willing to do what it takes to eliminate yep. the blue Cer bastards. These <laughs> Red Certainly, um, are familiarizing themselves with the military's great newest soldiers, and they? best equipment. Just ask this fine soldier here. Oh God, it's What's a your name and rank, soldier? Sarge. <laughs> and your name? I just told you. Are you slow or something, son? <laughs> right. Well then, let's continue. So, Sarge, what's that fine piece of hardware you have there? Oh, this here is the M90 shotgun. Mm, Engage the, Magnum rounds. The, the best the Sarge. And glow in the dark sights. There are many like it, but this one. She's mine. She's a That's keeper. That's a fine piece of hardware. You always keep your love. Touching her. I wasn't <laughs> see, Sarge is protected. I can see you looking. Uh, aim, aim at him. Damn go on, Sarge. Yes. Looks like Sarge had to go off on a super secret mission. Since the vile <laughs> yeah, things were really That's going south. I just love key. this. This Let's like with nice propaganda video. Oh, Dude, she's so hot. Oh, God. I don't feel really comfortable looking at this with you. <laughs> How goes it, gents? Ah, uh, I swear I just found it. Don't tell Sarge. Uh, I was only holding it for Lopez. Oh, for crying uh, out loud. Who are you? What yes, are you doing this, with that camera? This narrator the must be like, military what the intelligence, And we're here to film you, uh, fine soldiers, so you can tell the galaxy about the thrilling lifestyle of the Red Army. <laughs> it sucks. Everything's red. We don't need... Okay, well... <laughs> yeah, uh, just cut him off. Cut him off. Military equipment you and your or take two. To fend off the Blue Scourge. Um, well, we have a robot that speaks Spanish, and I guess that's helpful. <laughs> or, well, I mean, it really doesn't help us. What about that heavy hitter you've got there, soldier? Oh, God. Why did you just hand me this? Care to tell us what it's like to <laughs> I just love it. In the palm of your hand. Uh, Griff's going out of character. Punch, right? Sure. Then shit, yeah. What do you need, camera guy? Let's start with your name. Dexter Griff, rocket expert. Why'd you give it to him? <laughs> All right, Griff. What's your rank here at Blood Gulch Outpost number one? They call me Sergeant. What? Are you what? Who was? <laughs> ah, just ignore him. He can't handle the <laughs> Well, to be fair, he was. But, yeah. Transferred over to Rat's Nest. Uh, well, uh, I was going to say he was. He was promoted to Sergeant, two, wasn't he? One. 
<laughs> and so, and cause it's Sarge, oh, for God's sake. Mind telling us a little sake. about that rocket launcher you have there, and how it's helping to combat the enemy? This thing? You just gave it to me. And again, why not give it to me? <laughs> you know, I don't like your tone, Private. Oh yeah? Well, I don't like your anything, Sergeant. Oh, what a great, what a great, oh shh. Me, Private? Oh. Bleeding all over my base. Could you please just <laughs> this is a... about fighting the blues? Yes, oh. you fi it's oh. fighting each other, oh Any God. and those guys? Are we back to hating them again? <laughs> it was cool since the whole alien thing with the freelance. Yeah. Turn it off. Turn it off. This went south, didn't it? Please stop. Uh, boy, <laughs> looks like those high speed. This is not what sure this guy wanted. Super secret missions. Now you might be asking yourself, if you've already got all these tip top soldiers, why do you need me? Well, Easy. no, I'm not really asking While that. But, uh... Soldiers are keeping the enemy at bay. Military intelligence has found that the. Uh, gentlemen. But I told her I had a sniper oh, for rifle. God's sake. Expecting me to bring it. G gentlemen. <laughs> I don't care what you told Griff. And now I we're going. Oh God. I am not letting you take my sniper rifle on your imaginary date. It's not imaginary. She's totally into me. Will you please just focus? <laughs> Who are you again? <laughs> for the last. Oh time, man, this is just going south. Or the same rank. <laughs> and Simmons is just dying. Oh, whoa, what the? are alien sympathizers. <laughs> alien sim oh, yeah, because he's had really- oh, god. Disgusting. They even hate our very own children. I hate <laughs> Oh my god, that was you taking out context! You exceptional soldiers have been handpicked by your commanders to join Oops. Red Team. Join and be a part of the team that is making a difference. Do wow. you want to drive a warthog? Join yeah. The red team. Oh. Do you want to see new and exciting places? Join the yeah. red team. Dee, dee, dee. Do you want to be where the action is? Join the red team. Oh, get out of here. Okay. Of so if you think you're lean enough, and if you think you're mean enough, and if you want to well, send those really mean, but, heathens uh, back to the hell they came from, then do your part and accept the invitation to red team. I don't know, Blues team's a bit cozy, doesn't it? Or will no, I get shot about saying that? Are we really that? not cool with the Blues anymore? <laughs> Fuck it! We'll fix it in post! <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. That was awesome. The fact that um, everything just went south for the narrator of trying to get this recruitment build to work and then uh, there's a lot of out of character moments for Griff especially like you just handed me this oh wait are we back hating the blues again so that was really great first time Griff has been useful or anything because we don't want to hate the blues okay I mean if this was me why can't we love the blues and that was taken out of context that I hate babies thing I just loved it though. I mean it's it, it was a great pitch though like oh because they uh, have been friendly fr friendly in Tucker's case with the aliens and uh, uh, the out of context stuff that means uh, we'll make this video to convince people to join the red team. Man I just love that. It was really really awesome and then Caboose just convinced to join the red team as well because of course why why not. It was just really, really awesome, uh, especially the whole Sarge debacle, because you have to remember, he was promoted to Sarge, and now we've got this whole um, kerfuffle going on, so it was just really, really fun stuff, um, and I think the rest of next, wasn't that in Season 6? So, yeah, it would make sense, of course, um, to why he was uh, there was that confusion at the time, uh, Sarge... Um, discovering Griff was Sarge, it was just, there was a bit of confusion now, uh, in that episode, I believe, uh, when they went, uh, was that? Yeah, yeah, it was, um, because it was a kind of a flashback episode, and, and it was really, really bizarre, so it was great to see that return. This is good, Death Battle, Meta versus Carolina, Dawn of Awesomeness. I've never really watched a Death Battle for a long time, so this is new blood for me. Who would win in a fight? Superman or Batman? Now, if that's not the most popular question asked around Project Who would win in a fight? Me or Talking Boy? Talking Boy, because he kicked oh, my ass. Oh, no, wait. It'd probably be, hey, where do these AI keep coming from? Or, have you <sighs> noticed that we're looking pretty evil lately? <laughs> anyway, there's been plenty of action-packed punch-outs and kick-ass karate matches over the years. Mm -hmm. But we never really saw a matchup between two of our heaviest hitters. Carolina and Carolina. Yeah, the but people ship them too, Let's so... I don't think I've seen a few people ship these two. I don't think this is gonna be happy like a happy sight to see. We don't like fighting. Oh god, do you ever wonder why we're here? Hey. Yeah, here we go. You ever wonder who'd win in a fight between Carolina and the Meta? 
No. Nice. How many hopeless nerds on the internet care about that kind of crap? Uh, I'm a hopeless yeah. nerd. Why do you think I'm asking you? Oh. Come on, picture it. It'd be totally badass. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Carolina would definitely win, though. Bullshit. You're just picking her because you're scared of girls. That's way <laughs> scarier. He threw a warthog at me. Oh, yeah, you have, you have to remember that. Scariness was the deciding factor in a fight to the fucking death. Well, isn't the scariest a factor hey, in these death? Uh -oh. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Griff was just asking what would happen if Carolina and Meta fought. By who? One another. I'd rather who? What? What? <laughs> oh, you mean death battle? See, Caboose gets the picture. I mean, sure. Oh, oh, awesome. Hang on. I know some smart people that can help. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> See, Caboose is Jeff, clicking on the eye. What he's hey. talking about? No, but I do know that you're still fucking wrong. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> yep, I called command and they sent two of their best scientists fighting people to help us. This is gonna be awesome. Really? <laughs> and that's how you write your name in Bookshut. All right, all right, enough screwing around. We've got a job to do. Oh, fine. I think you're forgetting the command's best. It's just a step up from incompetence. Yeah, it's yeah. A donut. I rest my case. Chase and Boomstick. It's Wiz and Boomstick. Wow. Those are some of the things <laughs> nice I've one, ever heard. Caboose. Franklin Delano Jones. And I retract my previous statement. Simmons yeah, is well, like the dumbest face I've ever seen. Uh, I thought you were supposed to be Go smart. shots of donut. Oh my god, me too! Alright, so how you guys do this? You just, like, draw names out of a hat? Cast some chicken bones around? It's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills. Everything and that makes them awesome. Death battle. Why did you say it like that? Just, just, just watch. Here we go. Death battle time. I think this is my first reaction to a death battle. I mean, I've known people have reacted. Before there was Red versus Blue, there was Project Freelancer. And what an awesome uh, were highly backstory trained that soldiers was. with experimental weaponry and a mission so secret, not even they knew what it was. Kind of stupid in hindsight, but <laughs> these were true soldiers. The biggest and strongest of them all was Agent Maine. Yeah. Maine was the muscle. And this was even before. His brute it's strength, it's wrestling it's styles, and his unwavering ferocity to intimidate and crush his foes. While he likes carrying an M6G Magnum pistol into battle, he really likes a certain alien grenade launcher he stole. Yes. The Type 25 <laughs> grenade launcher, <laughs> aka the Brute Shot. Oh my, this is I mean, epic. Seriously, look at this thing. It's got a blade and fire. <laughs> and Grim are gonna be like, seconds. what the f? Is that, shall we? <laughs> hey, that's mine. Oh, Get yes, it is. It's an Oh, ah! shit. Oh, ah! oh, 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 Griff. <sighs> well, in conclusion, that wasn't. I love no. This thing. So the guy was a badass fighter. Definitely. Too bad Project Freelancer ended up turning him into a monster. Long story short, the director of Project Freelancer received a rare artificial intelligence for testing. The director imagined an army of super soldiers paired with AIs, but he could only get the one. Being the resourceful scientist he was, the director decided to torture the AI, forcing yeah, it to separate its raw emotions into multiple that's how much of an ass he to was. save itself. These personalities were captured as individual AI fragments and paired with so different awesome. freelancers. Going back Trust to this. Me, that's science. Main was Bitch. given Sigma, the AI fragment representing ambition well, Carolina, and creativity. And, then. and apparently being creative means you're fucking evil. <laughs> Desperate to gather his fellow AI fragments and reform into a perfect AI, Sigma manipulated and brainwashed Main, turning him into the murdering psychopath known as the, the Meta. Meta. The Meta went on a rampage, betraying his fellow freelancers and stealing their AIs. He was yes. like the Predator, but bigger, meaner, and with tons of overpowered equipment. His yeah, domed to, energy yeah, shield fair, creates a nigh-impregnable force field. It can block bullets, explosions, and even shells from tanks. Yep. Allow us to demonstrate. Oh god, here we go. Here we go. Poor Griff, why is he why is he the target here's all of Griff a sudden? Inside an energy shield. <laughs> yeah, so. And here's a tank operated by Caboose. And of course. Go wrong? <laughs> just shoot him, just shoot him, just shoot him. Let's <laughs> <laughs> try that again, buddy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Huh? Wait! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! No, not now, again! If the energy shield had been there, Grip <laughs> would have been fine. Wow! Scientist fun. I've been Of course, Caboose! 
As if that <laughs> weren't enough, the meta actually shot the camouflage him. turns him practically invisible. His strength boost enhancement so. grants him, well, super Yeah, strength. that was a sick and shot. And most impressively, his temporal distortion device can slow time to a crawl. He can turn invisible and stop time? This guy okay. sounds unstoppable. Yeah. Unfortunately, oh, when... running so much equipment alongside so many AI fragments consumes a lot of power. Yeah, but, but even so, it's still OP. Okay. Killing several freelancers and stealing seven other AIs. Not to mention the two can take a hit and keep on going, even when that hit is taking nine shots point blank to the neck. Mmm, that was Man, and I pretty my bold. Voice made my throat hurt. No wonder he never talks. <laughs> the only thing that could stop him was when a couple of idiots stabbed him in the chest, tied him to a car, and threw that car off a cliff into the freezing yep. ocean. But let's be fair, Wiz. <laughs> awesome That's stuff. a pretty fucking hardcore way to go. Yeah, but you'd expect something more heroic, wouldn't you? But, and that's why Locus was like, what? Hey, wait a minute. Where'd you get all this footage? Yeah. Have you been spying on us? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Well, wait, Leading I'm the worried. Troops of Project Freelancer, Agent Carolina was supposedly the best, the best of the best. Yes. She commanded the team through many successful missions, mastered several martial wow. arts, and her top spot Got on the leaderboard it. seemed untouchable. Until a mysterious stranger showed up out of the blue and ruined everything. Ooh, but we'll that's their that down. Carolina yes, because it gets a, a bit wibbly weapons than most freelancers. Over the course of her career, she's favored the standard Magnum pistol, dual plasma rifles, a grappling hook which can operate in outer space, a humbler stun <laughs> device which is basically a shock baton, and a long-range BR-55 battle rifle. Pretty interesting it's stuff. As as a shotgun, but it's oh, Griff! Range of over three thousand feet. Oh yeah, Griff's just running away. Yeah, there Ow, we go. Poor Griff. <laughs> He's taking more beans than Tex. Like uh, many other right. freelancers, Carolina also possesses an AI companion. She previously Several, actually, had, but for this matter, yeah. we'll be focusing on the time she spent with Epsilon, Epsilon. the member of the original Alpha AI, the, the one that we've gotten at no one, also known as Church. Like the other AI fragments, Epsilon experiences time 205 times slower than a human being, and therefore drastically speeds up Carolina's thoughts and reaction time. Too bad he's kind of an asshole, really? and by kind of, <laughs> yeah, but, I mean that's basically his thing. Yeah, but we love him for it, don't we? I'm an asshole. In her post, and even a bit career, Carolina made it her mission to track down as much experimental armor equipment as possible. And let me tell you, she did a pretty damn good job. Yeah, that definitely. Means she managed to acquire the domed energy shield, but also picked up adaptive camouflage, a speed boost, and a healing oh. unit. And she was at radio fighter. Just one AI like, alone. isn't enough to run all of this equipment at once. In oh. battle, if Carolina's not careful, she can accidentally push Epsilon too far and essentially short circuit him. Yeah, and that was coming to the end of the over and it. super competitive. Like when Agent Texas joined the freelancer crew and started showing her up, Carolina started making a lot of stupid mistakes. Yes, but that's there being the reckless trying to beat Tex. Turns out the director was Carolina's father all along. Dun, dun, and Tex dun. was actually the AI fragment memory of his deceased wife. Yep. Meaning Carolina's greatest rival for her father's it approval her was mama. actually her own mother. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't have paid. It's like super obvious. Huh. <laughs> is Kabo is Kabo's so actually no? Does he know this or is he going oh, along? Just stand around and talk. Yeah, good times. Good times. The good old days. Ow! <laughs> I still love this thing. <laughs> Regardless, Carolina is one tough woman. She's defeated several other freelancers, saved an entire planet from civil war, mm -hmm. and once blocked the shockwave of a nuclear explosion. Yep, yeah, she's pretty she badass. We're even skilled enough to Why you put Meta and Carolina get it? It makes hiding. sense, of Just course, but... Him kill himself. Jeez, that got dark real fast. <laughs> to be fair, he was a dick true warrior. for what he did. Here all we right, go. The combatants are set. It's time. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's, it's gonna be Carolina. My dips are in Carolina. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Are we actually? Are we actually going to see them? Like, oh sh! We are actually going to see them. Oh, here we go. Ooh, this is it. This is it. I am so ready for this. Let's go. Time. Oh, yeah. 
Epsilon! Milliseconds too slow. Looks like I'm picking the movie tonight. <laughs> oh, I miss him! I miss him! Be another garbage action movie. Oh, come on, they're hilarious. Everyone talks in one-liners, the plot's non-existent. The characters are just there to beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> what is it? Uh, I think we're about to have company. Oh, here we go. Let's go, I'm ready for hey. this shit. Not exactly. Oh, this is, oh wow, he does look a lot different to this animation, but I'm game for it. Okay, if we win, you can totally pick the movie. <laughs> if not, then we'll be screwed, healing or... Let's go! I'm ready for this! I can see that. Shit, shit, this is good, this is good, this is my kind of fight. Oh. Go on, Carolina. Go on. And there's an, an epic song in the background, of course, with Carolina being made. Oh, this is sick. I'm just. Damn, she's got she's got this. Just hold on. Oh, she's gonna use the speed. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, she is... Holy shit balls! Church, where is he? I'm on it, scanning. Your left! Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, sh oh no, oh, well, that's... Good, gone down the good uh, good uh, I can't speak because I'm freaking hyped for this, let's go. Ooh, no. <sighs> come on, come on, Carolina. I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for Carolina. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <sighs> come on, come on. Church, I need armor enhancement. Which ones? All of them. Oh, yeah, that's. Oh, shit. Shit, oh, pain! Huh? The time distortion figures and. Oh, shit. oh boy, here we go. Oh! Damn it, Jake. Uh, Jesus! Carolina, can you hear me? Come on, let's do this. Come on, Carolina. He's, he's, he's not back it. Come on, let's. Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit, and he's gonna be using his bait. But you also only talk in grunt, so I'm just gonna say this one line for you, okay? Just this one time. Oh? Mastery of martial arts let her hold her own, and her yeah, she, equipment she let her to match and even counter the metas. He may have gained an upper hand with his temporal distortion, mm, but yeah. Carolina's healing unit quickly repaired damage done during the attack. Something he should have had. The meta had all that powerful equipment, it drained his suit's energy way too fast. Carolina tried to use all of her equipment at once and failed. Luckily, she had Epsilon to change tactics and focus on recovery. Which yep, brings this, us this, to what is perhaps yeah, the, the most important To be fair, you can see fight. where Carolina won, especially... ...and artificial intelligence. The meta and considering their siblings as well. Eight different AI, 
effectively filling his head with an unintelligible mess of voices and commands. Yeah. In contrast, and one of Carolina them, and Epsilon work together as partners with a mutual Like, trust. if one of them's communicating with you, it's fine. To make up if you're in a room with weakness. a lot of people, not, not gonna happen. I still say it should have been better. <laughs> guy who can't tell the difference between a car and a puma. I can tell the difference. It's a matter of comparison. The meta just couldn't get ahead of his competition. Really? The winner is Agent Carolina. Yay! I had dips hey, in Carolina. Sam, how are you? Oh, sorry, he's back. Fraternizing with the blue devil and a... Oh, he's... <laughs> who the hell are these? <laughs> Whoa, What's easy red, red there, sir. Versus blue just realized hey, nice this can't happen. Good. I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> oh no. Well, what do you know? Oh you shit, I've just Oh no. Like oh, you better believe it. You know you remind me of someone. Almost like the sun that I never wanted. Oh and no. Buddy, I was about to say you're like the peppy I never had. When I was a kid, I ran out on us to join the army. <laughs> this is this legit? <laughs> well, 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 let's have some catching up. That? Time to move along, I guess. Nothing to see here. <laughs> but you're not, you're not having some catch-up time? <laughs> yeah, everyone's like... Nice guy. Yeah! So... That was interesting. <laughs> Father, son. Something that, uh... Should be explored in another anthology, I feel. Now, that was an awesome death battle. I was so immersed with the fighting. Um, I haven't seen one for quite some time. I think one of, I think the, uh, one of them was Darth Vader versus Batman, if I recall. I'm not sure. But I think it was. I know there was a one, I think that was the one. It was a long time ago, anyways. But, um, I used to watch a couple of these, um, way back when. And, uh, yeah, it was so interesting to see that. But yeah, Carolina had the advantage. They they pointed out why Carolina was able to, and yeah, uh, she definitely uh, she definitely held the cards against the meta. But holy shit, that was a fatality and a half. Like super aggressive, definitely. But it, it was an awesome fight, definitely. Um, I wonder who you guys would want to see in a death battle. I mean, I think these two other. <sighs> I'm tempted to say Tex versus Car uh, Carolina once again. Like, definitely. A fight to the death. I would love to see that. But, um, no, I, I think this was a great choice, despite a lot of people do ship these two. So, yeah. But, um, it was a great battle anyways. And I just love how Griff kept being the target, like, every time. Poor Griff. He was just always getting his ass owned. It was like text all over again, wasn't it? So, the final one is episode 14 Grey versus Grey. Uh, wait. Because it, it's spelled differently, I don't know. Is Emily going to be involved in this? Emily Grey, of course. If not, then I'm going to be pissed. Let's go. Ah, there we go. Problem with YouTube apps is they don't have ad blocker, like on the browser. All right, I got a joke for you. What's black and white and red all over? Oh, Sam, oh wait, this is wait, the, the joke doesn't make any sense until you see the next story. Okay, so I'll just describe it to you then, so you'll get my joke. Uh, it's about another group of reds and blues, and it's really funny. Not and um, man, you know what? I'm just gonna keep working on my material. Yeah, go on, go ahead. You do that, Vic. Okay, otherwise you're just gonna leave us in the big blubber. What you're trying to say. What oh. I'm actually saying is, my red-hearted mama always told me not to trust a dirty blue, and I'm sure not gonna start now. Quiet. <laughs> so these are three hours, the reds. Since it's all the war, isn't We're it? No closer to peace than when we started. Well, Hutch, we'd already have peace if you reds would all just die already, like decent oh, people. Oh, come on, that's not nice. Surrender after you're all dead. <laughs> When take control of your men, need I remind you we're locked in Wait, here and those like doors girl. won't open until we reach an agreement. Or we're all dead. So these I doors need to be open. Mine. Let's have Deal a sit down. It. Well, looks like we gotta get have tea and negotiate. Making, or we're gonna be in more trouble than a bull moose in blood gulch. My <laughs> oh god, why do I keep spitting in my helmet? This is hopeless. What are the odds of us actually reaching peace? Statistically insignificant, Easy. my dear naive squatch. We're you can all just hope. 
Fine by me. The only good red is a dead red. A dead red oh. with red head in a lead shed. He said. <laughs> Knock it off, boy. I love this Especially kind of come. like cliche voice. Remember you're on here. Sorry, Hatch. Got caught up in the moment. No way I'm gonna mistake myself for a two-faced mud-sucking blue. <laughs> That's it. We're out of here. Deuce, bust open those doors. You're yeah, leaving he's... over my dead body. Oh. 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 You benefit the most from his death. Yeah, see, my commander wouldn't hurt a fly unless it was a red. Oh wait, I believe it was you who said the only good red is a dead red. Wait, exactly, you're using you could me be now. The you're the one with quote. those weird-looking shifty eyes. I mean, look at him. <laughs> yeah, see, he's doing it right now. I'm not doing anything, or am I? Oh, for God's sake! Okay, look, people, we gotta sort this out. Now let's try what we used to do back home on Alpha Centauri. A good old fashioned lineup. Good idea, Cobb. Everybody back to stand Doctor against who? that wall. Oh man, so it's a who done it. I love it. Uh isn't there normally a witness that identifies the suspect? Oh. Right. Here's how we're gonna <laughs> do it. One by one, let's step forward and say, I shot Hutch. You oh, oh no, Alrighty. oh no, this is... I shot Hutch. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 don't shoot, I was just saying what he told me Exactly, to you're just trying it's to pit, put the blame on him, come on. <laughs> Everybody say, I shot Hutch. Oh, great idea, Wynn. Exactly. Don't sassy, Squatch. Any other bright ideas, gentlemen? I suppose we could... Wait a second. Well, this... Doesn't seem right. Uh oh. Mm. Where's my third red? Reds come here. Oh, they. The yeah, they there. had three, didn't they? Um. Wait. What? Uh oh. Wait. What is happening here? Yeah. Hold on. I'm a little confused. Look, Blue. Will you just call your man over? Uh. Yeah. Uh. Hey, Squatch. Bring our guy over. What? Why me? What in heaven's name is taking you people so long? Well. You all look the same. No, we don't. We're red. You know, the color of tomatoes, celery, the ocean. Celery's not red. Wait. It's blue. What are yeah. you, stupid? Celery's purple. Celery's purple. Wait, can they use... Purple. Can they see differently? Like, the colors are different. Oh. Celery is. I don't know what color anything is. Everything just looks gray. He's color blind. Okay, so... Wait. You mean to tell me that you can't see colors? Oh, they're all colorblind, and it fits no. into the new one. Neither can I. Yes, uh, here we go. Okay, yeah, cards on the table. I just see everything in shades of gray. Okay, you just when they like said, hey, it's wow. the old book. That, yeah, looking at the new well, one, yeah. It appears we are all extremely colorblind. Yeah. <laughs> what are the I fought with them saying, so you know, me. it's the same color all of us as the same. Have been fighting blue versus red this whole time. And nobody could see color. We were Four. always on opposite sides of the map. You could be blue. And I you could be red. Those were random code names like Delta Squad or Green Team. <laughs> All right, everyone, calm down. Now, we had a way of settling disputes like this back on good old Cassiopeia. Yeah, stars aren't planets. Yes, they are. Big, yes. Glowing planets. To be fair, good, technically. Yes. Fight. <laughs> Wait. Who the hell are you? Uh, I'm okay. one of you Reds. <laughs> Obviously, Deuce. I, I mean, us Reds. Uh, us Reds, yeah, see? Deuce, we all know it's you. You've got a two on your shoulder. Ah, but our dear Regina pairs the see? same symbol. Yeah, and I'm clearly Red. Yeah, see? That's exactly what Oh, God, what we got the say. big ball. Reds is a girl. Damn right I am. Deuce, <laughs> why the hell are you trying to switch sides anyway? Yeah, get back in. Hey, are you gonna answer him? Ah, <laughs> uh, this. I'm killing them both. Oh, God. What? Uh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> wait, the guns. Huh? Whoever shot Hutch will be missing a bullet. See? 
Unless you were practicing well, before. So, uh, who's next? Unless they compensated. Uh, you. Okay, Watch. let's go. Come on, Squatch. Show us your gun. It was, it was Squatch, wasn't it? Oh, you <laughs> son of a... Fine, it was me! I killed Hutch! <gasps> I didn't mean to! The lights went out and, and I panicked! Ah, I that panic, dark. isn't it? <laughs> the poor Hutch still! Wait, 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 just a corn shucking minute. <laughs> now that I think about it, I heard a shotgun go off. That ain't a shotgun. Ooh. Well, chaps, it's been nice fun, to but I'm shit. afraid. Wait! He... It was me! Yeah. Oh, right. God's sake, what? You're such an idiot. Yeah, see, killing's all I've ever been good at. If we had peace, I just don't know what I'd do. <laughs> Thanks, Deuce. But I'm afraid I've got to come clean. I shot Hutch. Oh, so, every... Never so I now everyone's saying I shot my Hutch. My oh, for God's sake. What? I'm not lying, Win. I shot him, too. I always wait, was, Hutch's wait didn't you just say, wait. I'd make for a much better later. Just listen At to my back. accent. But then that means... We all shot Hutch? Simultaneously. Yes. Except for Reg, it seems. <laughs> all right, you got me. I swapped guns with Hutch after I shot him. You see, when I was first stationed here, Hutch stole my rations, and from that day forward, I... All right, all right. No one cares to hear your life story. <laughs> well, I do. Shucks, we all shot him. At exactly well, that was the same great. time, in exactly the same place. What, a, what, what are the odds of that? Yes. <laughs> well, at the same time, you just... Great. Other, I think this is for the best. I mean, I never really wanted peace. Oh, get out of town. I don't Poor want peace either. Yeah. I was just kind of going along with what everyone else seemed to want. Well, that is just too <laughs> funny. You know, I'm glad we were able to set our differences aside and come to a unanimous, peaceful resolution. Yes, oh, that involved in the death of Hutch as well. Yeah. Brilliant. So what we're going to do about... Uh, uh. A subsequent autopsy revealed that Hutch died of a heart attack immediately after the lights went out. Ah, wow, okay. What a goddamn shame. What a, what a goddamn shame, and no one was the wiser. Wow, brilliant. That was brilliant. That was a brilliant noir film, especially the confusion with the... There was a lot of confusion there with the whole colorblindness thing, and then the... Um, reveal that they thought they all shot Hutch when apparently he died of a heart attack. Interesting. That was bizarre. That was absolutely nuts. I was just like, okay, this is so nuts. This is like, I don't know, beyond red versus blue nuts for some reason. But that was absolutely very, very fun to see. And I just love the uh, voices as well. Like, um, taken from, uh, from vintage classic as well. It was just really, really nuts. But <laughs> that was just weird. I was just thrown in there like, what the hell? Uh, but they paid, it paid off really, really well, especially the, um, the, um, idea to come, uh, to get peace and then they all shot each other at the end. Brilliant stuff. So I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed that reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!